Peace, love, and light to you, my dear Geminis. Welcome to my channel. I'm Butterfly Tara, and it is out of Butterfly. And I'm here to give you this no contact reading for March 2021. Remember, guys, this is a general reading. So that means that some things may resonate with you while other things may not. Or this very well may not be your story at all, okay? So just follow along. All right. So I created this reading, and I'm just going to jump right into it. I have the uh, Wisdom in the House of Night. That's going to be like the basis of this reading. What's going on possibly behind the scenes. I have Romance Angels to talk about what it is or how they feel about you romantically. This is a no contact. We don't talk anymore. Yeah, that one. That reading. And I'm going to have my um, Tarot of the Divine for what has transpired. And I'm going to have my um, Psychic Tarot oracles for what's not being said like or just to further elaborate on what this person is going through <clears throat> and then I'm going to have my um, hoodoo deck for messages from angels your ancestors uh, those who care for about you on the other side what advice uh, further advice or energies can possibly come through to assist this reading to tell you how to proceed forward Alrighty, let's hop on into this reading. Uh, if you are new to my channel and you like the content on my channel, like, comment, share, and subscribe. <clears throat> my throat's all messed up right now. Like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. Uh, my throat's scratchy. That's crazy. And um, if you would like a personal reading, uh, my information is below. I can do it three ways. I can go and do it um, in my messenger on Facebook. And on my I am Butterfly Tarot uh, channel, um, or you can get a pre recorded reading where you ask me the question, I'll record it like I do these generals, and you know, I'll send you that, or you can do the reading over the phone, it's whatever you want to do. Uh, I'm going to be starting something new pretty soon, and uh, I want you all to stay tuned. <clears throat> Alrighty, let's get on into this reading. I knocked my candle over earlier and I had to clear it, let it dry up and clear up the wax. I still have some of that wax on there. For the situation for my dear Gemini's. We have conclusion in the reverse and summons. Okay, summon. What else? And vision in the reverse. So it looks like there is an incomplete cycle going on in your life right now something that's unfinished and with this summons card and the conclusion in the reverse is saying that you're trying to revive something but with the vision in the reverse is saying that you don't know how <clears throat> this is either your energy or it's the energy of the person that you are not talking to so there's an unfinished business between you and this person only thing is is that you both lack the vision um the it looks like you're trying to figure out if you should wrap this up or not or or what can you do to possibly fix this relationship <clears throat> so how does this person that you are not talking to feel about you on the romantic level all right forgiven and learning in the reverse all right, as you release and heal the past, <clears throat> you experience more love in your present moment and in, in your present moment. So with this coming up in the reverse is telling me that there's a lack of forgiveness between you and this person. Uh, you guys have some healing you need to do. Um, there's no forgiveness here. There's something that needs to be forgiven. 
and flirt in the reverse extend your uh lighthearted energy to others so it's there's a there's blockages here i think the blockages have become because uh let your friends help you ask and accept support from others so you might need some um, intervention or they might try to reach out to you it may be that this oh, situation here that i'm seeing is that they may have done something possibly with another person and you haven't forgiven them for that and your relationship is on pause where you're not going forward and um it may be that they're trying to figure out how to fix this and they might actually use your friends you might have mutual friends that they use to try and get to you to reach out to you to get you to open up to see if they can summon you back in their life because they feel as though there's unfinished business between the two of you okay but with the vision in the reverse there's something that they're not seeing or it, it may be that um they just don't know what it is that they could possibly do to help uh fix the situation and it looks like you haven't forgiven them or they believe you haven't forgiven them and then with the flirt in the reverse that you are not going to be receptive to them if they come around and let your friends help you so they might be like i said trying to reach out to you through a third party talking about friends family you know relatives co-workers whatever to try to get to you so let's see what happened what, what happened between you and the person that's not speaking to you now. All right, yeah, so there there was somebody else. You may have been dealing with an Aries or um, <clears throat> Nine of Cups in Reverse talks about smugness. Um, it talks about a lack of success. It talks about alcohol addictions. Um, smug. The person you were dealing with may have been a very smug person. And you may have found communications that this person was dealing with somebody else. And only thing is, is that this person has tried many times, it seems, to come back around to you. Because it did say that this person tried to um, apologize and they tried to get back in your life but it's like you got a stony wall up against them for what they have done and it's you're standing your ground with the hermit in the reverse is saying that this 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 person feels lost right now they feel lost without you they want to come in from out of the cold they want to get back with you they want to come back home you may have put them out and it's saying that they tried to come back home but you won't allow them to hermit in the reverse you're standing your ground against them okay might be done with leo sagittarius or an aries yeah 
It could have been something, like I said, with the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands tend to be the other woman. If that's not representing your energy, because you would not be separated for no reason, right? Why is that Queen of Wands there? The Nine of Wands. And why is the Nine of Wands there? The Seven of Wands in reverse. You had to protect yourself. You had to protect yourself from what this person was doing. This person had you in a situation where there was, there was more than one person here. They were being smug and arrogant. They had somebody else. You had to protect yourself from this situation. You had to protect yourself. Look how she's holding on to that dog. Also, you know, the 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 non those those heads can represent the protection that you have around you, but it also can talk about the uh forces that you, that seem to be against you. You know, it could be good or bad. You know, you're trying to protect yourself and stand your ground. With that seven of wands in reverse, it's that you felt defenseless like what can you do? Two wands in reverse for planning, but or it's just saying the things that you put into action did not turn out the way that you wanted wanted them to. But it's saying that this relationship has failed, and you you very well may have been um, dealing with somebody who was younger than you, or you may be younger than them. But it's definitely saying that um, this person hurt you and. I guess when they did try to come back and apologize, you felt like that they weren't being truly sincere about it. You know, where they were like, <sighs> I guess they would have to prove themselves to you. But it's saying to me, like, there was obviously some rejection here. And that you had decided to put on this this rough exterior, this, this stony exterior, and stand your ground because you don't want to be hurt again. Okay? You have to put up a front. You have to protect yourself. You have to put up a shield. When somebody hurts you, that's what you do. So this person was playing around, okay? And now they feel as though that you have not forgiven them for what it is that they have done to you, but they still went back in. They still went back in. And it's like, you're just, you, you won't let them back in. I don't know if it was just a third-party energy it could have been more than that. You would know better. Eight of Swords. Oh, yeah, this person's going through it. The lovers in the reverse, they're going through it. You are mad as hell at them. You are not. Yeah, there was, there was a lot that came out about this person. This person was very, very deceptive. They were sneaky. They were holding a lot in. And you got the Eight of Swords, the Nine of Swords. They know they did this to themselves. And the lovers in the reverse and the moon card. Yeah, you found out a lot of stuff. That's why you've taken on the emperor's energy. They probably had like more than one person. When the lovers go in the reverse, it talks about uh, multiple choices. Sometimes choosing between two mates, okay? Be between two people. So they did have you in the third. What I say, they chose, they had, they had seven of cups in the reverse. They had you, you found out that they had multiple options. Not just you. That's why. And this is Gemini. My cats are cutting up. Um, Gemini energy is the lover's card. So you got Pisces. You have the Gemini. You have Aries. Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Uh, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. So all the signs are here except for Earth signs. Um, so you very well may be dealing strongly with either a fire sign or a... Um, air sign so that's what happened you found out a lot about this person they were very sneaky deceptive and they kept a lot of things hidden and they they possibly got somebody else pregnant 
or you could possibly be pregnant. Um, sometimes the Empress in the reverse is Libra energy, but the Empress represents uh, fertility. And the Empress also can, can, can represent the other woman as well. So they possibly got somebody else pregnant or you could possibly be pregnant by them and they chose somebody else over you. And it looks like that relationship with that Nine of Cups in reverse, that relationship had failed. And because that relationship had failed, that's when they try to come back to you. And also this Empress can mean that this person has broken your heart and made you depressed, made you very insecure, you know? So it's saying to me that you have decided to protect yourself from this person and you're not trying, or at least in the past, you were not trying to let them back in because they betrayed you, they hurt you, they broke your heart. So what is it that this person wants to say or what is it that they are currently going through right now? That empress can mean miscarriage. It can mean that they, you know, empress in a reverse can be the other woman. There is more than one person here. This person may have had two or more other people outside of you. And also, um, they may have gotten somebody else pregnant or you may be pregnant by them and you're suffering from a great deal of depression. But even though you may be suffering from that depression, it's saying that you, you're not going to allow that to be the deciding factor for you being treated wrongly, okay? You're trying to recover yourself because you know that you've been damaged by what they have done, all right? So now this person wants forgiveness, and they feel like you'll never forgive them. Now they want to come back to you, and they might be trying to use friends, family, and so on to try to get at you, to um, get you to open up and hear them out. All right, they have unfinished business with you. Victory and success, six of wands. You're ignoring them. They want you to acknowledge them. They want recognition. They want they want to try this again. Um, spiritual strength, nine of wands. So now it's like they're willing to uh, fight for this. The universe, the world card. Yeah, like I said, they, they want another cycle. They want to put an ending to whatever this is, foundation and the reverse, They're, they it's unhappy home, there's instability, your relationship has crumbled, okay, it needs to be rebuilt from the ground up, um, sacrifice, it looks like they're willing to do anything to get you back, but we got passion ignites in the reverse, either they feel like that um, you won't take them back, like I said, or um, they might be uh, depressed, you know, the, 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 the passion ignites in the reverse could talk about impotency, but it looks like that they feel as though that, um, they don't know how, they just don't know how to get back what they have lost with you. Okay. Harmony. That's the lovers. So it, now they want you back, but they don't know how to get you back. Conflict and defeat, the five of swords. They did this to themselves. Self-sabotaging. They self-sabotaged the relationship, and now they want to choose you. And a new beginning. Like I said, they want you back. But they're afraid that you will not forgive them. So what other uh, advice can we get from your ancestors, your angel, your spirit guides, those who love you on the other side? What other advice can we get? What should you do concerning this situation? I just want to try to jump out. Now the basket's in reverse again. Hold on. You have to really think about this. Four coins. What matters most to you? Now the basket's in reverse could be that you... You're, you might end up struggling more if you take this person back, you know, that the person you're dealing with, it's a very, you you got that nine of baskets, it's nine of cups. You got that there and you got that here in the, in the reverse. 
So, you to me, it's a person who is of a selfish nature and that they are looking for what serves them. So, you're going to have to be smart about this. Four Coins is, is protecting your money, protecting your foundation, your stability. You know, making wise decisions and looking into the future. You know, um, the daughter of knives is a smart, cunning person. Uh, she she's good with communication, and she uses her intellect, much like the Queen of Swords, to get down to the bottom of things. So it says that you m might have to be facing some harsh truths, or get down to the bottom. Or just be honest with yourself. You got to be honest with yourself. Have strength. Six of coins. Alright. Hmm. Hold up. You... All right, it's up to you, Ten of Baskets and the, the Three of Wands. It looks like it's up to you, the Father of Knives. It's, you got it again where you, you have to make sound decisions and choices. This is concerning a family. You have a family with this person. So it's going to be up to you to take your time. There's still some things that you don't know about, more things that are still hidden from you. But it also could mean that, um, yeah, the moon card is just what is hitting. That there's some uncertainty. There's a lack of clarity. You know, strength, you got the strength and you got the six coins. So, I mean, it, if I were to say um, what I'm going to say about taking this person back, I would say to go with taking care of yourself and uh, if you have children take care of your, your family and um, doing what's best for you all and, and not to be focused on this person okay that's what I'm seeing here it looks more so that it's talking about you focus on finding your own stability and it's it's there's no it's not talking about love per se here except for this ten of baskets like if you do have children it's like there could be two sides to this two two ways to look at this that you try to work with this person but it's saying that you should get down to the bottom of the truth it is totally up to you to forgive this person and accept them back in your life um but with that moon card is telling me that there are things that are still going to be unclear to you but the ten of cups is the ten of baskets uh, the father of, of knives is the, the uh, king of swords and the three of sticks. So it's saying that um, give it time to see if things will change. And also stand your ground. Again, stand your ground. You got that twice. Don't allow this person just to come back in and to push you over. <sighs> Ten of knives in the reverse. Yeah. This person owes you an apology. They want they truly want to come back and apologize, but will you accept it? Daughter of sticks in reverse. You're still pretty mad at them. Father of coins in the reverse. Yeah. This could be the father of your children. Yeah, yeah, you still you're still mad at them. You're still you really it's telling me that you really don't want to deal with this right now and at this point in your life. You know, it's just that's what it's saying that right now all right, I will go with focus on yourself and not so much with trying to take this person back. Um, will you have a reconciliation eventually? Three of coins, eventually you will come around. Okay? But this is the three of coins. So it might be for a financial situation like child support or something like that. And that you actually getting back together. Yeah, four sticks in reverse. No, you're not getting back together. So, okay, I'm going to take it back to the top. 
So the person that you are dealing with is a selfish person that you have to use your intellect, okay? Use your mind, you know, use communication, point out the truth of why you're not dealing with this person. Hold on to what matters to you. Be strong, okay? Be strong. Take care of your, your responsibilities. Don't slack when you're going to take care of yourself. If you have kids, take care of your kids. You know, make sure that um, you put your energy towards building yourself up financially as well, spiritually and mentally, okay? There's still much that you do not understand with this person, but it also could be talking about depression that, you know, you may just be going through depression because of all this sadness that has happened to you. And with this 10 of cups, it's saying that, that the happiness and success that you want may have to be a personal happiness and success. And that's so much as a family thing. Uh, three of sticks and the, the father of knives waiting for change. You know, the father of knives, he does not make decisions off of emotions. He makes decisions that are fair and just out of logical things, what he sees. And it's saying that right now what is to be seen is that you may have to just come together for child support as far in, in this person being a father. It looks like a father in your children's lives and not so much on a family level, like they're not coming home. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So it looks like you should err on the side of caution and uh, let them be a father. Right now, there's not going to be a reconciliation and, it, and it's actually discouraging you from trying to take this person back at this moment. Although you may feel like you need them back at times, it's saying to stand your ground because there's, there's still something, there's some secrets I'm going to say that there's still some things that are going to come out concerning this person and yes they're going to try to use other people to get you back because you did get that three of pentacles so other people may intervene for this person so that's my reading for you my dear gemini's as i always say i'll catch you on the next reading peace love and light to each and every one of you from my heart chakra to yours i will see you all soon peace and so much love i'm wishing you the best goodbye